Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. In this video, I am sharing a new little DIY furniture makeover. I acquired this little display cabinet from my boyfriend's best friend who picked it up for free. I'm not sure where he got it, but I thought it was so nice that he thought of me. So this little cabinet had kind of an aged metallic paint on it. A lot of it was starting to peel off and look pretty worn, but overall it wasn't in bad condition. But I knew that I wanted to put this piece in my home office, beauty room, and everything that I'm doing to make it over is essentially free. So I'm using all things that I already had around my house, paying zero dollars to do this little project. So I'm starting off with giving it a little bit of a sanding. I'm not going crazy on it or anything, but I am all about putting at least a little bit of prep work in when it comes to refinishing furniture. So I have this 150 grit and I'm going over all the surfaces, just trying to smooth it out as best as possible. And after sanding, I'm making sure I get all that dust cleared up. I'm using my vacuum and just a wet microfiber rag to get up as much of that dust as possible. And then I'm starting off by painting the interior of the cabinet. Now I have this Rust-Oleum chalked paint in white that I am using. I do not particularly recommend this paint, but it is what I had on hand as far as white goes. I wanted this little makeover to be completely free and just use up stuff that I had around the house. So I'm just using a standard paintbrush and painting the inside white. I think on the interior, I did end up doing two different coats. And then again, just did a light sanding in between to try to smooth out some of those brush strokes. And then after the first coat of interior paint, I was ready to start on the exterior. So since this had a glass door, I had to tape everything off, which was kind of a pain, but also just necessary if I want to get a de decent finish. So I'm taping off both the inside and outside of the glass door. And then of course using my trick that I always talk about here on my channel, using an old gift card to smooth over the painter's tape to really seal it in to make sure I don't get any bleeding from the paint. So to paint the exterior of this cabinet, I am using a color sample that I had left over. So this is like a peachy pink rose type of color and it is a standard interior latex paint, which again, I would not normally buy specifically to paint furniture. But like I said, I just wanted to use up what I had on hand. So that's why I decided to use it. And especially since this is not a piece that is going to get a lot of wear and tear, I wasn't too worried about the paint holding up really well. So I'm just going in with this. I think these are called paint chip brushes, chip brushes, something like that. They're really cheap. I had a bunch of them. I don't recommend them. <laughs> I'm like not recommending anything in this video, but the bristles always fall out in this. So I'm, you will see me picking out bristles in my paint a little bit here. But again, it's what I had on hand. They're cheap and you can just throw them away when you're done with them. So I'm working my way covering the entire surface. Lots of little details and nooks and crannies. So for total coverage on this piece, I believe I ended up doing two coats of the pink, just like with the interior, maybe even three. And again, I do do a light sanding in between the coats just to try to minimize those brush strokes and I was able to get the entire thing covered with that one little sample container of paint, which was great. And then for a top coat, I am using a water-based polycrylic. So I'm just using a small sponge brush to apply that. In an ideal situation, I would have used a larger sponge brush because that has better coverage. But I do like to use a sponge brush for the top coat just to get a really smooth finish. And I think I did, again, two layers of that polycrylic top coat. All 
All right, and now I am moving on to mounting this little cabinet. So like I said, I am putting it in my home office beauty room area. I took down the mirror I had hanging up and I'm gonna move that to a different location. And I used the painter's tape trick to mark where the little hanging holes are and leveled everything out to know where to drill. One of my screws was in a stud and then one of them I had to use a wall anchor for. And then I got Sam to come help me hang it up so I didn't drop it. The door, the handle's not on. I know, but I'm saying, oh, yeah, I guess you're done. Yeah. Sorry, I'm done. Yeah. Yeah, you are done. And now that it is all mounted and ready to go, I'm giving the interior a good cleaning. So I'm cleaning the glass really, really well. It was very dusty and whatnot. You also see that the inside of the glass has those two pieces that I was unable to paint, which is unfortunate, but since it's on the inside, I didn't really care. And then I'm also just wiping down the interior and I let it sit and left it open for a few days just to get that paint smell to kind of air out. And now I am going ahead and decorating it. I am just filling it up with a few different decor pieces and knickknacks. So I just have a few items that I think are pretty or make me happy. I have a few things that are sentimental and nostalgic. And as you can see, it definitely keeps consistent with my kind of pink, black and white color scheme. And here's kind of just a look at the inside of it and how it turned out. I definitely wanted to display some pretty items in here, but I didn't want it to feel like super cluttered or anything. For an entirely free DIY project, I am very happy with how this turned out. The paint is already starting to chip in a few places where the door shuts, but that is what it is. That's just the nature of latex paint like that. And then just a closer look at the hardware that came with it. So we've got the little doorknob and the hinges I painted with my favorite gold gilding paint. And I love the bright pop of pink next to my white furniture and white walls. Peachy pinks are some of my favorite colors. And it also pulls the color scheme from my window valences. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or were inspired by it. Hit the subscribe button down below for more DIY home decor videos just like this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!